Okay, this is. Again. Don't gob over yourself. That's a tip, kids. Don't gob over yourself. <laughs> Okay, this is a second round match in Auckland, uh, January 2019. I didn't record the audio live because it was after 11 o'clock and I didn't want to disturb my wife in the next room. So, pre match, I expected uh, a very tight match, good chance of three sets. As you can see from the screen, Kenin started as favourite. During the day, Kosmova moved down to about 195, uh, but by the time I'd opened the market to trade the game, uh, she was back to around 2.2. Because of that, I've just placed a small back at 216. Um, purely because I expected her to win a tight match. Uh, and just taking some value there, just stuck 75 on. Uh, I didn't record me actually placing the bet because I didn't realise I hadn't started recording. Good start. So let me start the video because I'm over serving first. Uh, the advice, it was actually the blog post for the day. The advice was to lay Ken in if she breaks first uh, and to lay the set one winner and as I say I expected Cosmova to come through in three sets see how we go starts with an ace stats wise um, Cosmova stronger on serve not too much between them on hard courts over the last six months. No, sorry. In the main WTA tournaments, Kenin's results were a little better. She's better on return. So everything suggested that it was going to be a tight match. Okay, she's struggling in the first game. Looks like we're going to get the first advised entry point. Guess a break to 15. And I place a lay on Kenin. So it's the ideal start, as long as she comes back, obviously. So let's see if I can fast forward through this game. Kenning started. Pretty well on her own serve. There we go, hold to zero. So now we need Cosmova to uh, get our act together. In that in that first game from memory, Kenning actually only hit one first serve. So she was three for three on second serve, which again wasn't a good sign for early days, one game down. As far as Kenning's serves go, I mean. Another ace. From Cosmova, she hit quite a few aces in the match. OK, 
Again, I'm just going to try and step forward through this. 30, 15. 40, 15, looking more hopeful for a hold. Struggling again. And she does get the hold. So reasonably happy at this point. Uh, we've got the entry. We just need a bit more pressure on the Kenning serve. See, in that first game, she only found one first serve. So I can't imagine she's going to stick to 100% record on second serves. That would be very unusual for anybody. Start. Very good start. Superb start, very different game to her first service game. <sighs> Takes us just into the green. Incorrect challenge. Majority of challenges go against the person making the challenge. And she's blown all three. Tremendous. When a player, especially on the ladies tour, has three break points, so love 40. If the server gets back to juice, they usually get another break point. The server relaxes a little bit, having got back to juice, thinking she's going to get broken. And from memory, I think that does happen here. She gets another break point. There we go. So you're going to take this one. She does. So, so far going to plan. I was a little surprised at this point about the prices. Uh, really, we should have been back to the start prices. And the market struggled to get back there. There's, I, was, I was wondering why 
I wasn't watching the, the video, so I was wondering why the market was loving Kenin so much. It just didn't make sense. Momentum was with Cosmova having just broken back. So obviously I was hoping that the market was wrong. You see there, Love 15, she's not a million miles away from where I laid after the first break. Uh, Kenin's stats, again from memory, she wasn't being great on a first serve. Second serve was still very strong. Successful challenge there, I think that was an ace. There it was. Really the only thing where Kenin was ahead was on second serves, because Mover I think had won something like one of three, one of four. She's struggling again on this service game. So I was thinking maybe the market is right. But really when I was looking at the stats I was happy with um, happy with the way it was going. Kuzmova was starting to serve better. She, she was pretty terrible in that first service game. But that's not unusual for any player to struggle in the first game. This was a little bit of a nervy game. For me, never mind her. I just wanted her to get... I thought if she could get to 3-2, there was a very good chance she was going to get another break keep the momentum going but she was just struggling to, to get her nose in front and this was a second serve so I was expecting the break to come again because she'd only won one of three or four on second serve That was a good sign for me that at a pressure point on second serve she was able to get it. Finally a game point. Been a little bit careful with stake size in this uh, opening week. A few surprise losses. A uh, few players started better than you might expect them to. Overall, I've been happy with the predictions this week. Nice to get a decent start and feel that you're, you're reading the matches correctly. And if you can read the majority of matches correctly in the first week or two of the season, I think that's pretty good. Blow my own trumpet. All right, we need a hold here. This was feeling like it was going to be a very significant game, certainly in this first set. 
Kenin's going to be pissed off if she doesn't get the break. And that can put her under pressure in the next game. And again, Kazmova's struggling to close it out. Also concerning when the serving player does struggle to take her chances. Because if they tend to miss a lot of chances to close the game out, they'll only get one break point and it gets taken. Hopefully she gets through this one. And we can look for some pressure. There we go. So 3-2. Price is only now back at the starting prices, and she's a game up, <clears throat> having won the last three games. The prices, the market just didn't make sense to me at this point. But obviously, regardless of what the market's doing, the actual game, the flow of the game is pretty much what I expected and hoped for, so happy enough at this stage. Now, as a new trader in this situation, I'd be advising that you should <coughs> remove at least some of the liability. Because things are going as I, as I, said, as I hoped, as I expected, uh, I haven't reduced it. Um, part, if I'm honest, part of the reason as well was that there's a guy on Twitter, I'm trying to think what his name is now, Oh, what's his name? Chris Goldsmith, is it? Uh, and I saw just before the game started that he predicted that Kenin was going to win. Uh, and he gets quite a few. He gets quite a few right. I don't particularly follow his predictions, but when I have looked at them, he, he's usually pretty insightful. So I wanted to get a decent win. Just, just for just for myself, no one else would know that I was looking at his prediction and trying to outdo him. I'm always trying to get everyone right, but that was a factor in me not reducing liability, which is wrong. You should do what what the match situation dictates. Um, there was also the fact that the price hadn't dropped as far as uh, I wanted it to. I thought, sod it, we'll stick with it a bit longer. She's doing okay. But we need some pressure on this game. Could have done with her taking that point. Big point coming up now. Bit of scoreboard pressure. The fact that Kenin has lost the last three games has got to be playing on her mind a little bit. Point.
takes it. Now I'm pretty sure at this stage I do remove some liability. <clears throat> See that going in there at 172, but I'm going to get matched at 171. I'm just looking there to see where my break-even figure is, so I'm green to 3.55. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to fast forward through this one. Okay, level 15. 15 all, that was another ace, 30 15, 40 15. Easy hold with another ace. Now I'm thinking there at this at this point. Should I remove liability now? Oh, which I have done. <laughs> That's right, I was what I was wondering was do I hedge now? Do I wait for her to break in the next game? Uh, it's still only one break to serve. Her stats, she's, she's been hitting quite a few aces. I don't remember how many. It probably showed it on the screen. There are nine aces at this point. But because I was bearing in mind the pre-match analysis to pretty much research and I was expecting it to be close and expecting it to be three sets so there's no guarantee that Cosmova was going to close this out certainly not easily and I know what I did so I'm not recording the, the audio live I just don't remember what order I did it in so if we just step forward, I don't think I did anything at this point. Let's look at the next game. So Kenning on serve. Why is my dog barking? <sighs> Right, so I can, I'm thinking about hedging for around 70 and then think about laying in the next set. Okay, Kenning looking okay, 30-15. 30 all. Good hedge for 70. Got the game point. Okay, I'm just going to pause it there. You can see I've tried to hedge there but missed it. Um, what I'm thinking at this stage is looking at the stats, still only one break of serve, and at that sort of price, certainly at 151, I'd have been happy to lay. Uh, as Kazmova tried to uh, close out the set. So you can see there, I'd have preferred, was I trying at 151? Uh, but I'm going to lay there. So remove it. I only had two pound liability at that stage anyway. But I got matched there at uh, 156. As I thought there was a fair chance that Cosmova was going to struggle um, to serve this out. So let's see what happens. OK, 
Uh, 15 love, I'm thinking I've thrown away some profit here. Dick. But really at that sort of price, it's the right thing to do. I would say if you do the right thing in any given situation, then long term you're going to be profitable. It doesn't work every time. Fifteen or Thirty in with a chance. And there's the break point. And the break. I'm going to hedge that one there. So green for 84. What I was going to do uh, was lay the set one winner. And really that, <coughs> well, the set at this point wasn't decided anyway. What actually happened was, that's as far as the video went. <coughs> uh, I think Kenin held for five all. Kuzmova held for 6-5 and then broke to take the set 7-5. Um, I left the match there, I took the dogs out. When I came back, they were still on serve. It was a late break. Oh, was it even a tie break? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. It was very late in the game. Yeah, Kenin took the second set, 7-5. So anybody who laid after the set, extra profit. Hope that's been useful, and I shall see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.